Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, USB thumb drives that seem to be broken, that don't show up when you plug them into the USB connector or the port on your PC. This has multiple causes. So um, sometimes, and I'm pretty sure a lot of USB thumb drives were thrown away uh, thinking they're not working, but in reality, they're perfectly correct. It's just that the file system is gone. So they don't show up. So right now I've plugged in my USB thumb drive and I intentionally actually removed its uh, file system from it. So when I plugged it in, it should show up as flash drive E. I don't see it. It's not showing. So what could be happening? So of course there is hardware failure USB thumb drive could, of course, have controllers that fail, which means they just don't show up anymore. And in those cases, yes, they probably are dead. But the majority of the time, these drives are still good and perfectly good. You got some th thumb drives lying around that don't show up, seem to be broken. Well, let's show you how to bring them back to life. It's simple. Most of the time, like I said, it's a broken file system. So what you will do in Windows 10 and Windows 11, it's the same procedure. There's a small difference in Windows 11, and I'm going to show you. So go to your file explorer and look at what is called this PC. Right click on it. In Windows 10, you will have manage show up at the top of the list. In Windows 11, you have to show more options to have that Manage show up at the top of the list. Click Manage. Here, you will be sent to the Computer Management. You'll want to click on Storage and then Disk Management. This will show you every disk and removable disks or hard drives that are available on your computer. Now, a healthy, correct drive will be in blue and will be partitioned and, of course, will be um, formatted in consequence. So this is all in blue to show you that this works fine, that it's what type of you know system it is and TFS and so on. Now, there's a one little drive here, and this is my removable. It says removable. Notice that it's black, and it says, well, this seems to be a problem because it's all black. What's happening with my drive? Well, if that is the case, and it's showing up here, it's simply that it says unallocated. So what do you do when it's unallocated? You simply right-click on it, and you click New Simple Volume. Follow the procedure next. It's going to tell you its, uh, its size. If you want to have it full size in one drive, you click Next. Then it's going to tell you what assigned letter do you want it to be. In this case, it offers E. It's fine. Then click Next. It's going to tell you file system in TFS. Um, Default allocation size, volume label, new volume, or you can change that name to flash drive or whatever you want it to be. Perform a quick scan or quick format, sorry, and click next. And if that is all okay, click finish. What's going to happen is that it's going to format and reallocate that drive with a drive letter. And what's going to happen after the format is going to tell you it's fine. Actually, it's showing up now. Here, you see new volume E, and if I click this PC, you see that it now appears as new volume here. And of course, now it became blue in the disk management. This probably fixes 80, if not 90% of all drives that people think are broken and don't work anymore. They simply need to be reallocated, their space and formatted. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.